Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the Fourier series for the given function. As a first part, we are going to write the formula for the Fourier series expansion. f of x equal to a0 by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity an cos n pi x by L plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n pi x by L and here the value of 2 L is this 3 so L equal to 3 by 2 so we are going to substitute this L value so once again our formula is going to become f of x equal to a naught by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos it is n pi x by 3 by 2 so it is n pi x by 3 by 2 this 2 can be carried to the numerator so it is 2 n pi x by 3 in the same way summation n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sin 2 n pi x by 3 now to find a naught we are going to use a formula 1 by l integral 0 to 2L f of x dx and now using the L as 3 by 2 this will become 1 by 3 by 2 so that is 2 by 3 integral 0 to 3 f of x dx but this f of x is made up of two part from 0 to 1 it is 1 and from 1 to 3 it is 2. So we are going to write this as 2 part that is 2 by 3 integral 0 to 1 f of x dx plus again 2 by 3 integral 1 to 3 f of x dx and now the function value is 1 and 2. So here it is 2 by 3 integral 0 to 1, 1 dx and this is 2 by 3 integral 1 to 3 and function value is 2. So it is 2 dx. Coming to integration, this is 2 by 3, integration of 1 is x, limit is from 0 to 1. Similarly, this is 2 by 3, this is 2x and limit is from 1 to 3. Now using the upper limit, we get 1 minus lower limit is 0. In the same way, using the upper limit, 2 into 3 is 6 minus using the lower limit, it is 2. So finally, this becomes 2 by 3 into 1 is 2 by 3. This is 2 by 3 into 4. So totally this is 2 by 3 plus 8 by 3 which is 10 by 3. So we got the value of a naught which is 10 by 3. Now coming to the formula for a n. The formula for a n is again 1 by l integral 0 to 2 L f of x into cos n pi x by L dx. So we use the value of L which is 3 by 2. So 1 by 3 by 2 that becomes 2 by 3 integral 0 to 3 f of x into cos 2 n pi x by 3 dx. Now this interval is again 
split in two part 0 to 1 and the functional is 1 so cos 2n pi x by 3 dx again 2 by 3 integral 1 to 3 and the function value is 2 into cos 2n pi x by 3 dx. Now this is a simple integration. So integration of cos is sin. So sin 2n pi x by 3 whole division. We have to divide by the coefficient of x which is 2n pi by 3 and limit is from 0 to 1. Again this is 2 by 3 and there is a 2. Then integration of cos is sin. So sin 2n pi x by 3 whole division 2n pi by 3 and our limit is from 1 to 3. Now using the upper limit we get sin 2n pi by 3 by 2n pi by 3 minus when I use lower limit sin of 0 is 0. Now this is 2 by 3 2 times of sin 2n pi x and x is 3 now when I put the upper limit and we have by 3 whole divided by 2n pi by 3 minus when I use the lower limit it is 2 sin 2n pi by 3 by 2n pi by 3. Here we can cancel this 3 and 3 and sin 2n pi value is 0 and totally we have first term 2 by 3 into sin 2n pi by 3 by 2n pi by 3 and we have another 2 by 3 and this part is 0 and there is a minus sign so into minus 2 sin 2n pi by 3 by 2n pi by 3. So here I am going to take 2 by 3 common and we have 1 by 2n pi by 3 is also common. After that we have sin 2n pi by 3 minus 2 sin 2n pi by 3. After subtraction this becomes minus sin 2n pi by 3 and here we can cancel these two and these two. So we have by 1 by n pi. So finally the value of a n is minus 1 by n pi into sin 2 n pi by 3. In the same way, we are going to proceed to find Bn. Now Bn by formula 1 by L integral 0 to 2 L f of x sin 2 actually sin n pi x by L we are going to replace L as 3 by 2 so it is 2 by 3 integral 0 to 3 f of x sin 2 n pi x by 3 dx we are going to split this into two part so 2 by 3 integral 0 to 1 f of x is 1 we have sin 2 n pi by 3 2 n pi x by 3 dx and second part is 2 by 3 integral 1 to 3 functional is 2 sin 2 n pi x by 3 dx this is b n now coming to integration of this this is 2 by 3 minus cos n sorry 2 n pi x by 3 by 2n pi by 3 we have limit 
0 to 1 again plus 2 by 3 minus 2 sin integration is minus cos so I written the minus sign so minus 2 cos 2n pi x by 3 by 2n pi by 3 and limit is from 1 to 3. Now using the upper limit we get 2 by 3 minus cos 2n pi into 1 by 3 by 2n pi by 3 and minus when I put the lower limit cos 0 is 1. When I put 0 here the entire term will become 0 so cos 0 is only and there is a minus sign so it will become plus 1. In the same way this is 2 by 3 when I put 3 here this 3 3 gets cancelled so we get minus 2 cos 2n pi cos 2n pi is 1 then actually there is a denominator for this 1 also so we can make the common denominator 2n pi by 3. Similarly here also we can have the common denominator 2n pi by 3. Then when I put the lower limit already there is a minus sign so now it will become plus 2 cos 2n pi by 3. Now we can take 2 by 3 and 1 by 2n pi by 3 common first term is minus cos 2n pi by 3 then plus 1 then minus 2 then plus 2 cos 2n pi by 3 so we can cancel these two we left with 1 by n pi outside 1 by n pi now this term is 2 times of cos 2n pi by 3 and this is minus cos 2n pi by 3 after subtraction we get cos 2n pi by 3 then 1 minus 2 is minus 1 so we got the value of bn so finally we are going to replace a0 an bn in the f of x formula the formula which we have written in the first step so now f of x equal to it is a naught by 2 a naught we got here as 10 by 3 so a naught by 2 so 10 by 3 by 2 is 5 by 3 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n a n is minus 1 by n by sin 2 n pi by 3 so minus 1 by n pi sin 2n pi by 3 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity bn which is 1 by and we have one more term here before writing summation for bn that is an cos n pi x by l so it is 2n pi by 3 with x plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity bn which is 1 by n pi and the value of bn is along with this cos 2n pi by 3 minus 1 into sin 2n pi x by 3 so already we have written this formula here and in this formula we are just replacing only bn and an then a naught by 2 the rest of the cos and sin terms are written as it is now just rearranging this we get f of x equal to the first term a naught by 2 which is 5 by 3 from the summation we can take minus 1 by pi out so minus 1 by pi summation n is equal to 1 to infinity and the term which 
we have remaining is 1 by n sin 2n pi by 3 into cos 2n pi x by 3 and here again we can take 1 by pi common summation n is equal to 1 to infinity we have 1 by n into cos 2n pi by 3 minus 1 into sin 2n pi x by 3. So this is the required Fourier series expansion for the given function f of x.